all peoples it's your boy andrew 26101 show also known as insert coin this is my gaming channel but you guys are probably going to see the preview channel if you guys are probably watching it later on i got a special guests with me i got radical latino and mr rick and delphia okay first of all rick and delphia um tell us about you where you're from and all that well i was born in puerto rico and i was raised in dr to the age huh? of 15 then i moved to new york and then after that philadelphia and um, basically, my channel is about, you know, empowering my people, Latinos of any color, but especially of, you know, Puerto Rico and Dior. That's where I'm from. And that's basically okay. it. Empowering your people. Okay. All right. So, um, Radical Latino, um, tell the people where you're from, what your channel is all about. All right. Cool. My fault. I had to go... Uh... Take care of something right quick. My fault. A good thing I came on time right now. Um, well, I'm uh, you know, I'm Dominican Ecuadorian, you know what I'm saying? Um, I uh my name go I go by the radical Latino, and my channel is basically all about Latin unity and black empowerment. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? My fault. Give me one minute, bro. Let me just close my door. Give me one minute, bro. Yeah, yeah, no problem. By the way, those of y'all who are watching the Radical Latino show, if you're watching on there, hit that link so you can get on this channel. If you want to go ahead yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. comments, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, I can highlight your want, comments. I can't highlight your comments on that side of the page. So you if y'all want your it. chats, if y'all want your chats, you know, reading all that, go to go to um the link down below. You know what I'm saying? Go to the link down below. But anyway, so uh, you want you want me to want to start going or what? Yeah, all right, so yeah. here's the thing, man. Yeah, so um, pretty much, listen, I'm impartial in this. You guys go ahead and talk your shit. I don't want no hits below the waist, nothing that shit. If you guys got to go ahead and do your hits, hits, hits above the waist, and yeah, let's go. All right, um, yo, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> yo, yo, I swear to God. Uh, Andrew's a cloud, bro. Um, yeah, all right, yeah. so for... For everybody, you know, tuning in, um, you know, this is you know, Rick and Dalfia, you know, shout out to you, bro. Um, yeah. yo, Andrew, can you do me everybody? A can I say one thing? Everybody that don't know me, sub subscribe to me, even if you don't, you know, agree with my ideology. You know what I'm saying, subscribe, yeah, to yeah, me. yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's his, that's that's his, <laughs> that's his YouTube joint right here, Mr. Rick and Dalfia. Uh, Andrew, can you do me a favor? Can you mute yourself because I get distracted a little bit, you know what I'm saying? It's like, man, what. I get distracted a little bit. Can you just mute yourself if you don't mind? Thank you, thank you, brother. Now, all right. Um, let me let me just start this thing off. Um, Rican, you, I know you started with this. Uh, you know, with videos coming out about me. Um, yeah. Shout out to Ava. Shout out to Ava. Um, you you can, uh, you started with videos coming at me and all that. Um, what what was your main message coming at me? Well, as I said yesterday, you know, good publicity and all that, but as well as, you know, I didn't know the story behind it, but I just seen you coming up with Ari, and then I seen, you know, the chats and, the, you know, the comments in, in your videos, and I was like, they coming at it, in the same way, so I'm like, oh, these are women in my my community, and I don't like people coming at them, so, plus it seemed like, you know, a little civil war going on, I'm like, no, us as men, we gotta stick our ground, you know what I'm saying, so I'm, you know, I feel like I had to make that clear a little bit. Then also, like I just said, the publicity, it'll bring a couple publicity to my channel. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha, and gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So that was the main thing. That was the main thing from recently. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So basically, you want to get some shine off my name? Yeah, basically a little bit. And then, you know, how to make it clear, like as far as the women go as well. Got it, got it. So when I, I never went at Axtina. For the most part, ever. I never went at Axtina. The thing is, I went at um Saggy Moon, you know. So yeah, yeah. What, what about her that I went at Saggy Moon you disagree with? Well, I didn't tell you the truth. I don't know about the actual beef, but what I do know is like it's a female in our community, so I just you know went on the defensive, but I don't know about the actual beef. And can you enlighten me on that? Like what's what's the thing that you don't like about that beef? Well, to to be honest, it wasn't even a beat between her. She just inserted herself into this whole situation, and 
on top of that, there was a couple of things that she was doing out here in, in the community that was kind of making her look a little suspect. The fact that she's supporting anti-black channels, she's out here, you know, commenting whatever she needs to comment and all that. So, you know, it's kind of making her look a little suspect, you know, um, and a lot of people are, you know, basically questioning her, her BS, saying that, yo, you know, uh, she's, you know, she's a closeted racist and because of her affiliations and what she comments under other people's channel, you know what I'm saying? So that's, that's what my main thing was on top of that. That's why I wanted to expose. And you see that me exposing that was something wrong. Well, I didn't, um, you know, get the message of what she was exposing as far as that certain videos, it was like mainly just talking shit about her. And oh. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen on other comments, not from you, but from other people, that she just sucks up to suck up to uh, black men, but at the same time make fun of black women. I don't know okay. how true that is. Okay, so based on my video, and you saying that I'm over here, not, um, not, not a, uh, you know, not showing facts, but. I'm over here just complaining and, you know, talking shit about her. Everything in that video that I talked about, uh, that was completely false? Um, no, I have not done my research on that topic. Okay. Okay. So you basically just uh, went out out of nowhere and just started just uh, com coming at me for no reason. Yeah, basically, you know, I seen a film. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. So basically, all right. All right. Um, so what about me do you disagree with? Well, as far as like, um, like the whole white supremacy thing, I kind of disagree. And then also like the, um, like kind of have like you in particular, you kind of have like a black, um, like a pro-black mindset. As for me, I don't have like, you know, an anti-black mindset, but I'm more neutral because, you know, I have African ancestry, but I'm not, you know, a part of that type of African American community. You feel me? I I, I see myself as part of the Caribbean Latino community. Got so it. I don't got really, it. Gotcha. I don't really insert myself in in their can I, things. Can I can I, can I say something real quick? I, I just want to ask um, Rika Delphia oh, something. Um, you said you're not part of the African American community, which is perfectly fine. Um. Right. So you consider yourself as part of the Latin community? Yeah. Okay. Um, what do you think, um, just, just, just based on your opinion, um, what background do you represent more as being Latino? Because I, sometimes I hear Latinos say, well, I'm more Taino or I'm more European. Like, what, what would you consider yourself more as? Well, I consider myself equally of all three, Spanish, Taino, and African, but probably uh, Taino the, the least because, you know, we don't have, there's no full-blooded Tainos right now because, so we don't know how to base that on, you know what I mean? At least for Spanish or African, we base that on Spain and West Africa. Okay. You know what I mean? Do, all right, you, so do you have issues? Do you have issues with African-Americans? I was just curious. Like, do you, do you get along with them or... You know, well, some of them I get along with, some of them I don't. <coughs> it, depends, it, it depends, you know, on their on their personality, not you know how they look. Okay, their personality and their mindset. Okay. All right, all right. So I got I got a quick question. Um, now how how do you identify as? Um, you saying that you're mixed, but mixed is, isn't a race. What do you identify racially? Well. That's kind of a hard subject because mixed to me is kind of, it kind of is a race because like I'm not full blooded anything you know what I mean. Well, it, when so, you go to a job when you go to a job application, there's no subject of mixed. There's no little box that says mixed in the job application that says white, black, Asian, native. Which one do you pick? I pick all three: white, black, and native. Okay, even though so you don't you don't align more with with your black side, even though phenotypically from your avi, this I don't know if this is you or this this probably is you. I don't know. But based on your avi on your photo, you look more black 
do you align with black? Um, I, I align, I would say I would align with, you know, mixed race, Latino, white and black, and Taino. You know, I, I align okay. with that, that particular mixture, you know what I mean? Okay, so, so when you call yourself Hispanic, um, do you do you consider yourself more Hispanic than Latino? I could consider, uh, to me, them terms are like interchangeable. You know what I mean? So I don't really. It's one of the, the same. To you, it's one of the same. Yeah. Okay, yeah, even true. though even though Hispanic is a fairly new term, cre created to confuse us. To you, that's one of the same. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Now. Um, when when you hear somebody from Spanish descent talk about Dominicans don't bring nothing to to the table, Dominicans are actually you know inferior, and Dominicans don't actually have a great benefit to this country. To you, that's okay. What do you think about that? I don't think it's a um. You know, everybody got their personal opinions, so some may think. Of us in a racist way, and some may think of us in a friendly way. I'm not gonna paint them with, with you know a broad brush. Yo, can I like, can I just can I just intervene real quick, real quick? Hey, radical, you got a lot of people following you, but I love I love to like kind of you know post these messages on here, but they're all on your yeah, page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, every everybody, you go go to go to um go to the link so your your message could be read. You know, yeah, what I'm saying? Post, go ahead and post the link. You know, to the to the main channel on here, so that way people could. You know, yeah. for the chat room on here, and I could just post their yeah, yeah. Their, their conversations. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's on the link in the description, and you know, down below. But but continue, continue, um, continue, Rican. Yeah, I was saying, um, um, you know, everybody thinks differently. I don't praise them all with a broad brush. And as far as the Spanish go, like some of our Spanish ancestors went burnt or bad. Like half of them were good, and it was consensual marriage, and half of them were obviously slavery. So we can't, you know, paint them with the broad brush. Well, what 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 do you mean? Half of them were good. Can you give me? Can you enlighten me a little bit more on that? Like it was consensual marriages, loving marriages, loving relationships. It was families. It was during, what wait, loving marriages during slavery. Well, yeah, because um, not all the um, like sometimes slaves were set free, or sometimes there was. Black people that were free their whole lives, you know what I'm saying? Or they, they, many times there were poor whites that didn't even own slaves. You know what I mean? But but the thing is, those poor whites still benefited from the system of white supremacy that was that was called slavery at the time. You you do understand that, right? Uh, no. So how did they benefit, right? Oh yeah, that's that's very easy. Historically, they benefited because when those white folks were in the in the slave quarters they became the overseers for the for the slaves they became the slave catchers for runaway slaves so that's how they benefited they weren't slaves they were called indentured servants and then after they finished their indentured servitude they got 40 acres and a mule did you know that no i didn't well, do you uh, you do a little bit more research before you start thinking that yo, you know, all these other people out here, you know, I I in, aligned with white folks and they came in here all consensual. So you're telling me that the Spanish people that were out there enslaving us, they were all they weren't all bad because they were intermarrying with uh, with us, right? Yeah, there was there was, I mean, to me they weren't all bad based on what I've seen in history and, and through my actual ancestors, like some of them. Were white Spaniards and they weren't bad people. They weren't, oh, so so people. so so your ancestors. You don't think you got white ancestry because your uh, your people got raped? I mean, maybe one time in a distant past, but not like it's not recent. I don't not, have any. Well, not, well, I'm not talking about 2018, bro. I'm not talking about 2018. I'm talking about 1600s antebellum slavery. That's what I'm talking about. You you understand that when Christopher Columbus came first, Latin people were the first ones to ens be enslaved, right? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. When Christopher Columbus came, the Spanish were the first ones to do all that enslaving, you know, the Indians and, and the Africans. Yeah, hey, yeah. I, I'm sorry, but somebody's vibrator needs to be turned off. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Vibration. Oh, yeah. Somebody got a vibration? Yeah, I, 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 I don't 
Oh, okay. Okay, okay. okay go Um, but I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Continue, bro. Continue. My fault. Yeah, I was saying. Um. Damn, what I was saying. I came here. Huh? I came to work. Huh? That's what it is. But nah, um, nah, nah. don't worry about it. You know, take take your time, bro. You know, just let's sit down and you know, just chill out. But um, Christopher Columbus came 1500s, right? 14. Yeah, 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 14. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the Spanish were the first ones to come. They came because it was the first one to come. They was the um. First good call. Yo, put your phone on do not disturb or something you know yeah yeah, yeah put your phone yeah, yeah yeah anyway um oh yeah yeah christopher columbus came in first and um you know the spanish they really don't know what was out there so they just mostly broke men they didn't bring the whole families like 100 years later that was the english french bringing whole families you know what i'm saying well so well you know ripping people away from their families you know that doesn't really count yeah that's that's true, but I'm saying um, 1500s. They the Spanish and the Portuguese didn't know it was out there, so they brought warriors. You know what I'm saying, conquistadors, and they didn't have no women to to fuck, and they already had this open mindset. Of, oh well, yeah, well yeah, they didn't have no no women to to smash. You're right. So when they came to our country, they raped the women. You're absolutely right on that. So um, radical. What you see so fast? Like well, wait, 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 hold up. Before we get into that, hold on. We gotta get this whole history down first. Are you? Are, do right, you? Right. Do you agree? Before we get into all of that, do you agree that you know the Spanish came in here and the majority of them are you know are rapists? No, I wouldn't. Even though historically, I'm telling you that they were, and me and you are agreeing to that. But a lot of these times, these books don't, you know. They put out a certain agenda. Well, yeah, a lot of the times these books are, are saying that it's it's totally fine to be a slave from sun up to sun down because their melanin um doesn't allow them to get tired. That doesn't mean that it's true. You know, uh, you ha you have uh you have th this this guy um was it George George Jefferson or something? Well, I forgot the dude's name. Uh, he wrote a book. He said that black people are physically unattractive and they smell bad and they're ugly but yet that wasn't considered so that was thomas, jefferson. thomas there you go they also so you know your racist history so thomas jefferson he said that's what he he said he wrote that in the in the books of virginia and the, but the thing is that action what he was writing wasn't really consistent on his actions because he was pregnated every african slave out here you know but again that was on the books and that was something that people believed uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So that doesn't really mean just because you read something on the book, you got to go through hidden history. You know what I'm saying? Oh, radical, got radical. I got a question for you. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. Oh, what's up? So, despite all this history that you know went on with the past and all this racial history, whatever, do you feel it's okay to deny part of your ancestry just because what some or maybe most of what your ancestor did? Well, no, it's it's not to it's not good to deny because I don't deny it. I and you know I I look at it, I embrace it. I am a product of rape. Due to that fact, you know I know exactly where where I stand and where I'm at in the system of white supremacy. That's the main reason why I identify as black or as native. I do that shit interchangeably. You know what I'm saying? Due to the history of the Spanish, what they did to our people. So you identify as mixed with black or native? No, 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 oh. no. I don't identify as mixed. No, no, no. I interchangeably uh, say black or native. If I'm going down that job application, if there's no native, I put black. If there's no black, I put native. That's what I'm talking about. If there's both, I put both. Okay, so put in both is put in mixed, bro. Well, yeah, put in both is, is put is put in mixed, but I don't, I don't, I'm not out here saying that I'm mixed. I automatically identify with one thing. I'm black. Okay. Point blank period. I'm not uh, unapologetic about it. You know what I'm saying? I got a question for you. If you were to compare yourself to another, you know, famous person that we could, that we could, you know, point to, you know what I'm saying? Uh huh. What famous person would you say you look like? Um, Mero from This Is a Mero. Mero? Mero, yeah. You know who Mero is? No, I don't. 
Yeah, from Jesus and Mero, Google them and you'll see. Do you think you're blacker or whiter than Drake? What? Are you are you like phenotypically blacker or whiter than Drake? Phenotypically, phenotypically, I, I'm not white. Phenotypically, if we're, well, if we're talking about phenotypically, I'm not white. If we're talking about skin color, I'm two shades lighter than you, bro. Okay. So you're like a light skin mixed person, basically. Yeah, you know, because you consider yourself light skin as well, correct? Yeah, I consider. I'm I'm, I'm basically like Drake color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, um, so, so, we're, so we're both light skinned brothers in the struggle right now. Right. So, yeah. um, being that you are two shades lighter than me and I'm Drake skin color. Yeah. You know, in Africa, where that's where black people originated, specifically West Africa, you know, Nigeria and uh, Ghana, Senegal, Congo, most of the people there look like Kodak black. Uh -huh. So you think where black people originated, West Africa, where the term black came from and where, where our African ancestry came from through slavery. Do you think you look like those people? Do you think if you went to those countries that they would consider you as black? Well, you said three different questions right now that really didn't add up or make any type of sense. You said, you know, people out there being considered black and how they're looking black. The fact that uh, African uh, African people did not make the word black up. That's a European concept. That's something that started here in America. That well, hold on, but I got to I got to correct you. Think. I got to I got to correct you. Not about what Africans think. How do Africans I mean, think? I, I mean, um, based on the way they look. Excuse me. Well, well, no, it's uh, it's based on an identifier. That's something that's a European identification. That's an uh, identifier that these Europeans put on. That's the thing. So if we're, if we're talking about identifying as black, we got to come here to the United States and talk about what it is to be black and what do that identify and the outlier is to be black. And what they have put down on the table was the one drop rule. That's what they classify as what being black is. Okay. Now I got, I got a question for you. What's even up? Though you didn't, even though you didn't answer that question right here, bro. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> uh huh. Because so you, you you asked you asked three questions, so I was answering one by one. You know, but all right. What's up? Okay, bro. You know, me and you, if we were to go to Africa, we wouldn't be seen as black. Well, obviously not, because of the people over there. Obviously not. Even black Americans don't could be. They're not considered black when they go over there. Well, some of them are, some of them are. No, 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 they're not. No, they're not. They call our cotters and all that. So miss me with that. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep it real. Yeah, they call it. That's, that's yeah, called yeah, foreigner yeah. black. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's foreigner. That's call, what we're talking about. That's, that's what we're talking about. Nobody's what, considered exactly. black. Let's that's keep what they it call real. It foreigner black. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's keep they it call real. Them that, they call them that to, to, because it's a foreigner black. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. They're not even considered, but they're not considered black. They're racially black. They're not considered the black. Right. There's more. There's more Africans over there that their race is being, um, you know, switched and 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 messed with all over the place. There's a there's dark skin, black, purple, black people out there that's considered black. I mean, considered white. I'm sorry, they're considered white. So let's keep it real. You know what I'm saying? That that's kind of like a uh, you know, that's that's kind of a straw man argument that you're doing. You know what I'm saying? If we really want to go down the identification of black, we got to go where, you know, white supremacy is very strong. It's here in America. Okay, okay. Now this brings me to my next question. Yeah, what's up? With the way white supremacy and all this one drop and all that. Yeah. Why does the way, for example, one drop and all that shit, that shit was invented by white people. So yeah, why yeah, does white yeah. people? Not, well, not white people. White supremacists. You gotta, you gotta keep her. You gotta, you know. Okay, gotta but her. white supremacy, white, but bro, white supremacy is made by white people. Well, not it's all. Not, it's not, not made by ghosts. It's not made by ghosts. No, 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 no. It's, it's not. Ghosts. It's <laughs> you say well, ghosts. That's funny. <laughs> that, that's funny. <laughs> Uh, yo, this, yo, he's a legend, son. Yo, this motherfucker's a legend, son. Um, no, what, what I'm saying is, is made by white supremacists, not, um, not white people. Because whenever I talk about white supremacists, everybody like you and everybody else, they're like, oh shit, you're anti-white. Oh shit, you're you're this, you're that. Oh shit, you know what I'm saying? 
And that's not really that's not really the case. So when we talk about white supremacy, we have to be very clear on what we're talking about. All white people are not white supremacists. There's white people and then there's white supremacists. Okay, but white supremacists are white people. Now, not all not people, all of them. Not all of them. Not all of them because there's a lot of coons. You're one of them. There's a lot of coons. Antonio is one of them. There's a lot of coons. Dominican Renaissance is one of them. There's a lot of coons. George Zimmerman is one of them that are under the white supremacy umbrella as long as you're harming. No, 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 bro. I'm going to get into that. I'm going to get into that. Get into oh, that but, wait, wait, hold up. Let me, but, let me finish um, that statement. As long as, you're right, harming, as long as you're harming black people, everything is all good. They don't give a fuck. Everything is all good. You're still under that white supremacy banner. You can know I? Right? Can I just intervene just real quick? I just go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, bro. Yeah, I just got one quick question and then I'm gonna let you guys keep going at it. Um, Mr. Reek, and um how do you what's what's your ideas about George Zimmerman? I think he's a um first of all, George Zimmerman is not your full fans. It's like Peruvian and half Jewish. Okay. But I think he's a um he shot the he shot the boy for no reason. I think is deserves a show for that, to be honest. Okay. You think I mean, he's a really, do, you, do you think he's a racist? He could be. I don't. I don't. I, really, I don't know him personally, but I, he probably is. Most likely, shot for no reason. Okay. So I, I, go ahead. So, so I got a question for you. It's kind of yo. Know, shout out to Andrew. Um, you you think that he's probably racist? George Zimmerman is probably racist. Yeah, probably because you, you never know. You never know the. You don't know the what the media is telling you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the okay. actual situation. That's, that's, that's actually that's that's true. That's true. So let's look at the situations and the actions based on George Zimmerman's actions. The fact that he signs Confederate flags and the fact that he said that that boy got got before he could rape somebody. <laughs> For you, that's not racist. Yeah, that is racist. I oh, okay. So before we start, you know, making statements, we got to start knowing what what it is. Um, yeah, you got to tell me about this information. I got I got to touch oh, it. Shut well, up. No. I don't know this. Oh, you know, you know, Google's a thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Google's a thing. Um, now, now let me let me let me get into something else. Well, we're talking about white supremacy, and to you, you uh, right, right, yeah. yeah, yeah, I go, got go a question ahead. for you. I got a question for you. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, bro. White supremacists are white people. They're not ghosts. They're not, you know. <laughs> yo, yo, the dude, the ghost. Yo, shout out, shout out to him. <laughs> shout out to him. <laughs> yo, he's a legend. So, so. Go ahead, go ahead, so, go ahead, go ahead. Being that they're white people, and they hey, tell your boy ghost, you need to get on here and, and type that shit, bro. Because I need to, I need to see. I ain't seen what's going on here. <laughs> and being, you know, they're white people, and he's making up these ideas, and they made this whole system. Doesn't mean we as non-whites have to follow that system, or you know have to put their ideas and opinions on a pedestal. When you follow the one drop or all these other type of rules that they put in place, you're putting their opinions on a pedestal like they're gods. You know what I mean? So what is up with that? Like why do why do some black people or even some Latinos like you do things like that? Uh, I'm so, you gotta rephrase the question or repeat it again. I didn't I didn't understand it. What you said? The question is why do some black people or even some Latinos like you put white people's opinions on a pedestal like their guides. Well, this is well this this is the popular misconception. Um I don't put white people's opinions on a pedestal. The fact that I am harmed and victimized by white supremacy on a daily basis is what I'm calling out. It's something that makes you a victim, doing. bro. Oh okay uh, makes you a victim. wait wait hold on hold on I'm about to answer that right now. You lived in New York City right yeah stop and frisk yeah, that's true, but uh, okay. oh, oh, wait, 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 oh, wait, that's true. Thank you very much. Another thing that but makes it doesn't mean I'm a victim, bro. Oh, wait, so you're not a victim of stop and frisk? I'm, okay. I'm a victim. <laughs> we, you know, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> we're a victim of that, you know what I'm saying? We're a victim of that, but that okay. doesn't put us okay. if you say you're a victim, that puts you in a weak position. Well, I'm calling out the, the victim, the, the, the victim treatment. That I'm uh, that I'm enduring. That has nothing to do with me being. Oh well, I'm thinking weak. I could think strong as shit. I'm still gonna get stopped by the cops and victimized. That doesn't mean anything. You know what I'm saying? Another thing that makes us victims is a uh, racial discrimination within trying to get a job and also housing. That's another way that they could victimize us. Do you agree or disagree? 
Yeah, that, that's true sometimes. Oh, oh, okay. So thank you very much. So we're right now, we're proving the whole um, victim mentality is just not a mentality. Okay, it's but, something okay. that happens. I've got a thing. i got a thing. Instead of complaining to people that you know don't like you, that's some bitch shit. That's what I think. Is some bitch. <laughs> yo, I'm not calling you a bitch. <laughs> I'm not yo, calling you. Yo, Reek is a legend. So, yo, sh yo, subscribe to Reek and yo, yo shout out to Reek, bro. Yo, he's a fucking legend. <laughs> 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 Let's continue, 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 bro. Continue. My fault, my fault, my fault. Instead of you know what I'm saying, like instead of you know complaining to people that you know don't like you, and to come you know complain to fix that system that they built from people that don't like you, make your own system. Okay. Mm, okay. So, Mister Mister Reekin, Mister Reekin, tell tell us how you think um, we can actually break the system of white supremacy that affects us in nine areas of activity between people. Tell us how. What's the nine areas of activity? That white supremacy affects us. Yeah. Oh damn! You calling me on the spot, bro? No, let me stop. The <laughs> <laughs> wait, actually, I got it written down too. It's a fucking old photo because I can't remember it in the top of my head. But here it goes. The nine areas of activity is education, law, politics, religion, um, sex, war, uh, um, uh, sex, war, uh, education, uh, some other. I I gotta I gotta I gotta look it up. But right, I just gave you six. But those are the nine areas of activity that white supremacy affects us all as a whole. Okay, are you, do, so you, do you agree or disagree with that? Kind of agree with it, but I don't think of I don't think of it as like I'm a victim. I myself in a different position. You know what I'm saying? For one, instead of you know complaining, oh why this job don't hire me? I, I I'm gonna make my own job. I'm gonna become a business owner. Hire my damn self. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, hold on. Da, 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 da. Jesus Christ. I completely ah. Anyway, um no, no, no. You you you're, you're absolutely you you're, you're right, but the but the fact that the fact that you have the system already set up against you, you you're not putting that stuff on a pedestal whatsoever. You're not you're not you're not you know, you know what I'm saying? You're not putting that thing on, on, on a pedestal. It's something that's already happening. You know what I'm saying? So regardless, if you want to say... But okay, you got to think of it this way, bro. You got to think of it this way. When you, put negative, when you put negative things in your mind, it like multiplies it. It makes a more negative world for you. So yeah, when, I okay. put myself, when I put myself in a victim position, that's yeah. a negative position to put myself in. And that, okay. makes, that makes like situations... That, Brings me more negative situations. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, Wait, so, 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 can you can you explain what does that mean by putting yourself in a negative, you know, um, 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 um position? Like me, I'm a type of person. I think that minds, or the way you think, brings you actions. It affects your actions and it affects the situations that you put yourself in. So, if you think you're like you're in a victim, you're gonna have more of those situations. You know what I'm saying? Of, um um so break that down break that down what you mean by that basically like your mind is very powerful so if you think a certain way you're gonna act a certain way you know what i mean okay and then that's gonna your actions is gonna bring you certain situations okay so if you're thinking, oh, I'm a victim, that's going to bring you more victim situations. If you're thinking, oh, I'm a king, and I and we're all equal human beings on the earth, that's not, that's going to bring you less victim situations, even though, you know, there's racist people all over the world. And, you know, some people do have a little bit more power, but yeah, yeah, even more power when you, when you, you know, give them that, you know, emotional type power, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. But... The thing is, there's situations out here that you didn't give nobody that power to, but you still got victimized. What what are, what do you say about that? What you mean I still got victimized? Like a stop and frisk situation or something? Uh, let's just yeah, let's just stay with the stop and frisk situation. Um, you're not being victimized. You're walking around going to the store. You're not mm. thinking about nobody being victimized. You're not thinking as a victim. You're thinking as a king, correct? You're, you're thinking right. as a BLC, like you say. 
Uh, you're a exactly. BLC, you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly, you know, you gotta you gotta walk with it hanging, you know? Exactly, you gotta walk with it hanging, and then you still get victimized. So what what's uh, your thing with? So what's your uh, what's your ideology with that? I mean, my mindset don't change. I don't actions are negative actions that don't change my mindset. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so, okay. So so basically, we're just going back to the same trope of white supremacy. That's what we're going back to. Right. Okay, so, so, we, so we agree so, to that. So we agree to that. Thank you very much. We agree to that. So now my, my main thing is you told us yesterday, well, I want you to repeat it today, hopefully, that only white supremacists are rich people, not poor people, correct? Basically, that's what gives oh. you the power, the wealth. You know what I'm saying? The wealth, the wealth. Wait, even, even though I just um, told you, even though I just told you the nine areas of activity between people, between, look, look at me talking between, between people, the nine areas of activity of white supremacists between people are nine areas, and some of it is economic, some of it, everything else is not. So you're still saying that rich people are the only ones that could be white supremacists and poor people can't? Basically, rich whites. Have I you seen the... Have you seen the documentary Lion King? I mean, Tiger King? No, I have not. Have you seen it's the documentary? Oh, well, there's a, it's a Netflix documentary about a bunch of hillbilly, meffed out white folks. Poor shit. But anyway, um, I'm going to I'm gonna tie all of that together. Have you seen another documentary also on Netflix? I'm not trying to give a plug. I'm, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to plug this out. But have you seen the <laughs> other documentary on Netflix uh, called, uh, I believe, I think, uh, Making a, a Monster or something like that? It's about a female that put a whole bomb on somebody's neck and they, she forced this person to rob a bank. Have you seen that documentary? No, I have not. Okay. By the fact that these two documentaries are a very good teaching tool for everybody listening right now, even you, Mr. Rican Delfia. Very good teaching tool. The reason why is because this should teach every black and Latin person watching those documentaries on how poor white people still maintain and still get affected and benefit from the system of white supremacy. The reason why I say that is because after Shorty in that first documentary that I told about making a monster or something, she killed somebody, left him freezing in the freezer. Guess what? The cops said, oh, that's crazy. I wonder what happened. We got to investigate this shit. It took them three years for her to make another murder and then for her to get caught. Do you not see that that's actually the system of white supremacy protecting itself? Now, let me give you another one. The whole, the reason Recent one, um, Tiger King. These dudes put out hits on each other, wanted to kill one another. For some reason, the system of white supremacy always protected them. They always, for some reason, always found money. They're poor as shit, missing teeth, smoking meth with headlights. But for some reason, they had a hundred thousand dollars in the bank. I don't got a hundred thousand dollars in the bank. I barely got 20. So what I'm saying is this is the system of white supremacy of uh, still benefiting them regardless if you're rich or poor. Yeah, I understand that. But um I don't know, I don't I don't really think of it like that because you know they they're kind of you know poor and they they're not in the same position as the rich ones, you know what I mean? They're not in the same positions as the rich ones. Yeah, because I'm putting it like this. Okay, so, uh, break it down, break it down. The, the wealthier whites have a lot more, you know, power. They could do whatever they want. The poor whites in the same position as me and you. What are they going to do? Oh, yeah. Even the wealthy they, whites, even the wealthy right. whites, bro, they got, that, they got control over the courts and the, and the money system. They they just got, they, could, they got control over that shit, but they don't got power over me. They're not superior over me, so don't. I don't call it white supremacy, you know what I'm saying? Mr. Dalfia, I'm, I'm about to show you right now how they got power over you. Have you, have you, I don't want to get into your personal thing, but have you been, have you gotten locked up? Have you went through the uh, judicial system? Yeah, I've been there before. Been okay, there, so okay. Well, okay, uh, I'm not going to try to get into that. You know, I, I hope your situation is great. The thing is, those people, have you ever been to a jury, 12 people judging you? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, Mr. Delphi, I'm just letting you know right now, those 12 people, at least if four of them are white, four of them are uh, poor, broke white people. Even if you were innocent, they right now have the power to judge you and affect your life. 
Do you? That's white supremacy. I'm gonna give you another. I'm gonna give you another scenario. Them yeah, but cow- it's random. That, that comes cow- into it. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you more. I'm gonna give you more. Another, another scenario. This is how white supremacy affects us all. Poor, poor, the, the poor white people. Them cops stopping you for stopping frizz. Them motherfuckers they making bank. They, they got putting out second mortgages in their house. That's another way that they affect us, even if they're poor. I'm gonna give you another one. You could be, you could literally be walking down a good neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? A good neighborhood and somebody just came up and they're poor as shit, but they still got that white supremacy mindset. They will still see you and judge you and say, somebody's here, um, you know, looking at my houses. Somebody's here, you know, scoping the place out. That's how white supremacy affects you, regardless if you're poor, regardless if you're poor. And this is another and this is another thing. If we really want to talk about rich or poor, look at Donald Trump supporters, literally all of them. All of them calling people the N word in Charlottesville, going all bucked out crazy. They killed somebody. That's how poor white people act, and they still benefit from the system of white supremacy. Okay, so what's your, um, based on your definition of system of white supremacy, what's your solution to the shit? What's the solution to white supremacy? Yeah. Well, one solution is uh, us Latin and black people getting on one code. We got to stop the infighting. That's one. That's one. Once we start getting on code and stop the infighting, because I'm sorry, Mr. Dalfia, you don't do a good job with that. And um, Antonio doesn't do a good job of that. And I sure damn as hell know um, Dominican Renaissance doesn't do a good job at that. Once we start getting on code and start actually uniting uh, as a unit. I, I- Hold on, I'm, I'm giving you my solution. Hold on. I just want to say you forgot Ken, but go ahead. Oh, yeah, you still <laughs> um, unite, unite, you unite as a unit. Yeah, yeah, Ken too. But unite as a unit. Once we uh, black, black and Latin people, the most disenfranchised people, unite as a unit, and then that's one. That's step one. Step two is to economically put our money together and start circulating amongst us with that same code. That's when we start dismantling the system of white supremacy. We've seen it happen in the past, but it's never been, you know, done in a major scale. But we have seen stuff happen and freedom happen in the past. Sounds all good and dandy, but I don't think, you know, I would say how much, 100 million blacks and Latinos. I don't think us uniting. That's even in the whole world, it'll probably be like a lot more. But a group of poor blacks and Latinos uniting, that would not have a chance against a few rich whites. They control all the money. Why is that? They control all the money. Oh, okay. So they control they co- they control all the money and you know they well um that that's a that's a good thing. That that's the main that's a that's a good angle, but also you gotta understand that once we start caring for self, once we start actually looking out for each other, um, you know, we start making up gardens and then that from those gardens that shit will evolve into a farm. We don't have to look out for those white or those white people who have money. We could care for self. You know what I'm saying? So well, if we start thinking like that and stop thinking as an individual and actually start thinking as an empire mindset, that's when things start moving along. You know what I'm saying? That's when that whole money shit, that's going to be irrelevant. You, you feel me? Because right now people are talking about picking up arms with militias and nobody's working. The elites are still, you know, controlling the money. And guess who's going to be the, the militias that's going to be coming out here harming black and Latin people? Them white supremacists, the poor ones without no money. But they sure as hell got guns, though. Who told you that was going to be militias? Who, wait, wait, who told me? Uh, the, the new, do you not read the news, Mr. Delphia? No, I don't. Oh, well, you, you, well, you got you got to stop smoking that <laughs> weed, bro, and put it down and stop watching the news because hey, there's ain't nothing wrong with smoking weed. He just probably no, no, there's, no, there's, there's nothing. There's nothing wrong. No, I was probably sleeping. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, no, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, shout out to all my weed heads. No, but there's nothing yeah. wrong with that. But if you if you you know stop blowing it down a lot more, and that's the only thing you're concerned about, and you're not you know actually reading what's going on out here, then you're gonna be like a sitting duck. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta really look at well, most of the 
most of that news is like propaganda. You know what I'm saying? They they show you what they want you to show. What, what they oh, want oh, now, you to now, now now we're going to the whole propaganda Jewish conspiracy. Do you believe in that? Definitely, for a fact. Okay, the Jewish. People. You can't trust yeah. these these people that control the money in the banks and in the corporation. You can't trust these niggas. Uh, okay, uh, okay. So all right. So so you think it's Jewish controlled? It's not white supremacy. It's Jewish controlled. It's the same thing. Oh, oh, it's the same. White supremacy is Jewish controlled. Is that what you're telling me? Well, Jews are white. I mean, they look white. Oh, okay. So they're white. So what makes a Jewish person different from a regular white person? It's a religion. It's not, you know. Okay. It's not oh, okay. So it's a so it's a religion. Are you saying that white supremacy is a religion? No, I'm saying uh, Judaism is a religion. I'm okay, so but 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 you just said you seen, that. But wait, wait. radical. Have you seen um? Jewish people in Brooklyn? There's a lot of Jewish people in Brooklyn. Of, of course, but what I'm telling you is... What, what, how do they look like? How do they look like? Well, they, there's two type of Jewish people. They're acidic, you know, with the big-ass furry hats and all that, with the little wavy, you know, um, sideburns. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. there's the other type of Jewish people. You don't know they're Jewish until, like, a funeral or a, ma a marriage happens and they got the little hat on. You know what I'm saying? There's two types of Jewish people. You know what I'm saying? So what, what's, what's your point with that? I mean, they look white to me. So okay, okay. So I, I want to get into that. So you're saying this is a Jewish people is white supremacy and it's a religion. How can a Jewish person practice two religions? No, white supremacy is not a religion, bro. But if white supremacy is the ideology that you telling me that Jewish people practice, that means they're, they're practicing they're practicing that shit religiously. It's, a, it's like a ideology that's practiced by any type of white person that have this you know, pro white mindset. Oh, so you kind of so you kind of contradicting yourself from the beginning of this uh, debate. I mean, they think they're superior. I don't think they're superior, but if that's that's how I, you're gonna call it, white so, supremacy, whatever name you're gonna bring it to it. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, so, that's what they that's what this, they believe in. This is my thing. This is my thing. Um. Uh, that whole Jewish cons uh, conspiracy that they are, uh, that's, that's some shit that they, that racist white people, that what real white supremacists, they want to put on, they want to put on and do all this other dumb shit to basically say, hey, listen, I, you know, I affect black and Latin people negatively, but no, not, I don't do it at a scale that these rich white people do it. They're both white supremacists of the same coin. You know, they just do it in a different manner. That's all it is. You, this whole thing is Jewish controlled with with money that they white supremacy. Yeah, that's on the other side, but we gotta understand that this system is run and protected by those type of people who you call poor. Yeah, you probably right about that. <laughs> okay, I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't right. say. <laughs> I wouldn't say you do fully right, but it's probably oh, okay. But uh, okay, yo, yo, Rick is a legend. So, uh, so I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I want to ask you a couple of things. What's your, what's your whole overall message on your channel? I'm overall, as I said before, empowering my people, and sometimes you know, informing, because I got a couple videos informing, or like, I have like two, two videos coming at Black American men. But well, that's because they come to my country doing dumb shit. Okay. And, um, uh, okay. Okay. So okay, let me go ahead. Go ahead and answer that. But I, I also got something for him too. But go ahead. Uh, I all right. right. So, um, go, ahead. Right. go ahead. Do you think? I, I, I want to ask you something. Um, you came at me in some of your videos saying that I criticize Latin people more than I criticize Black people. Correct? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Now, why do you think? I don't criticize black people the same way I criticize Latin people. Tell me why. All right. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to get down to it, bro. Oh, he just, um, he, you, know, you, saw, you heard that? He uh, came with theme music uh, and all that. Shit, he, oh, came with the music. he said, dun, dun, dun. All right, go ahead, go ahead, bro. Go. Yo, he's a I legend. He's a legend. That's <laughs> like, <laughs> because, look, boom. You were like, oh, the system of white supremacy, uh, uh, us as black and Latin people, but you emphasize your blackness that um that you that you have. And it's like you, you talk critical, a lot more critical on you know Latinos and stuff. But Marcy is like 
coming at many different type of Latinos that don't share the same mindset as you, or coming at this, the 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 way many Latinos think. You know what I mean? Uh, can you tell me how um, Latinos think? Can you tell me, give me an example of how Latinos think that you you see me going after? For example, <laughs> for example, Renaissance, Kim, and Tony Batista. But not only those, like, you know, Latinos that don't see themselves as black or white, or some of them that see themselves as white, some of them that see themselves by nationality in its traditional sense. It's like you come at them and you're trying to, you know, you're trying to enforce a victim mentality on them. Well, and, identi- and, and you're trying to enforce the identity politics on them. So yeah. why do you do that, right? Oh, yo, yo, he's bossing up. I like that. I got, I got a quick question. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold that I got hold a question. But go ahead, go ahead. Um, the reason, the reason, first of all, those people that you brought up and all these other people who are examples of that, they do not talk about, you know, uh, they don't represent Latin people in the right way because whenever those three, all those people that you uh, talked about, and even the people who represent them, who talk just like them. For some reason, they're always bringing down black people. For some reason, they're always promoting racism and all this other stuff. And truth be told, you agree with that type of message, you know, because you subscribe to Antonio Batista and he's a racist. But anyway, those are the things that I go after because I have to check my own people. The reason why I don't criticize black people is because I'm not part of the black community, my brother. I'm not. I thought I'm a, she was black. I thought yeah. she was black. You being, said you was black. being black is an identifier. That doesn't mean that I'm part of the black community. Two different things. Two different things. I'm part of the Latin so, community. I'm going to criticize and talk about my people. There's no reason right. for me to automatically always criticize black people because they're automatically always getting criticized by every other group, even some of our group as well, like, you know, Kim. Antonio, Renaissance, even you, you know what I'm saying? So there's no point for me to do that. And if I did do that, let me just say that. If I did go criticize them, black people just be in particular, what would I criticize them about that the Latin people don't do? Tell me. I'm going to ask you a question. If I'm going to criticize, if I'm going to criticize black people, am I going to criticize them on black on black crime? I mean, there's more black on black crime than Latino on Latino. Well, well, no, but there's still crime in general, right? Latin on Latin crime still happens, correct? Yeah, it happens a lot, but I would say... Oh, black okay, black well, wait, okay, exactly. I'm not going to criticize the black community on something that happens in the Latin community. Regardless of how high the numbers are, I'm, I don't care about that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to criticize them on out of birth wetlock either because it also happens in the Latin community. I think it happens in the Latin community a little bit more, but whatever. But you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do that. There's no point of me doing that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm staying okay. on code. Right. I'm, well, hold right. on. I wait. got a question I, for you. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, wait. I, I'm staying I, on well, code. Well, I actually had a question for the man over there, but I'm go ahead. Of, you know, <laughs> I'm, staying, I'm, staying, I'm staying on code. And part of that code is not to victimize other victims of white supremacy. That's what I'm staying on code about. There's no reason for me to criticize the community, one, that I'm not a part of, but I am an advocate for, and two, I'm not going to criticize a community that also happens in my own community. That doesn't make sense. But go ahead, Andrew, and then you could give me a question. Go ahead. Yeah, um, so back to what uh, 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 Mr. Rikadelphia, I'm sorry if I mispronounced it. Rikadelphia, right? Rikadelphia? Yeah. Am I saying it right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Rikadelphia. All right, sorry about that if I mispronounced it. Um, you said that you don't particularly like, cause I kind of saw a couple of your videos. Now you say you don't particularly like African American men going into your country, right? Well, going into my country doing dumb shit. Okay. Do you think they all, in, you know, like, if they come in, you know, calm, low key, regular, then I don't have no real problem with that. Cause I do the same thing. I go to black countries. Well, even I go to black majority areas like Atlanta or something, and I don't expect no problems because I don't be on no ratty dumb shit. Okay, so what 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 dumb shit can you classify that black people do out there? Uh, this is a good question. It's gonna take a long time. <laughs> Fetishization. 
and like it's like putting the as I said with the other live video from last night, I, it's like putting the um the Dominican community on a pedestal. Okay. Of of like um like a light skin fetish and a foreign fetish. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So um you like, don't for think... example, I'm give you I'm gonna give you an example. Mm -hmm. Like when one of these dudes make a video. Okay. They're all over YouTube. They're all over YouTube. Instead of saying on the beach with a thot, they're gonna say on the beach with a Dominican thot. So that's over focusing on the race. You know what I mean? So it's like you overemphasizing the race because that's that's what gives you joy. You know what I'm saying? You you fantasizing it. Feel me? But you ever think that maybe some women like to be fantasized? Nah, I don't think so. That probably it's probably creepy. On a woman's end, you think, now, you think if I'm a woman, man, so you think a woman would be creeped out that a man fantasizes about him? Yeah, kind of because it's like a, just looking at her as a sexual object and not like a human being. I mean, you see women all the time out here shaking with their asses, wearing thongs, or doing stuff on Instagram. I mean, come on, we all seen that. So, I mean. There's a lot of thoughts in the world, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I, I hear you. I hear you out. But at the same time, if you're doing things like that, most women would like it for you to fantasize about them. Because obviously, if they're throwing it at you, that's an open, pretty much an open invitation, right? Yeah, you're right. But so if, if they're, they're doing Latin, that, okay, if so they're let, doing let's that, say, they... okay, let's just say if Latin women were doing that in their countries now, like like just shaking their asses and they were throwing themselves at the guys. Is it his so fault? So you're saying like you saying all right, look, you saying like you go off the plane and then once you get off the plane, you see a whole bunch of Latin women shaking their asses? No, I didn't say that. But I'm saying this. That's what you're implying. But I'm saying this. If I do go to clubs or any other places, such as myself, or even if I or even if I look on social media, if a woman's throwing herself at any type of guy, that's an open invitation. So it doesn't matter what race you are, that's an open invitation. Not saying all the women are like that, but if women are throwing themselves at men like that, maybe that's a question you need to ask the women. Yeah, every woman got a different personality, but you're no. saying from a club perspective. No, I'm saying, it, oh, no, no, no. All right, let me rephrase that. I'm saying it from all angles. Like, even if it's on social media, it could be just. I don't know to me. Most women, I think, will be creeped out by that. But, you know, there's some women that would take okay. advantage of that. And they'll see you like, oh, I could, I could, I could rob this nigga. Know I'm saying, quick come up. Oh, okay. Okay. You okay? Um, you got any uh, questions? Uh, uh, I, I think I think he was gonna <laughs> ask me something. Uh, oh, okay. You, you were gonna ask yeah, me something? Yeah, definitely. I, de I definitely got a question. Home, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's a legend, son. Yo, he cool, man. He cool, Lloyd man. Lloyd the building, baby. Lloyd Yo, Bank. He he cool, oh, man. Yo, he cool, man. He cool, man. He cool. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. You know, you know, a lot of people be like, "Oh, Latinos be like, they want to lighten their race. They want to, quote unquote, mejor, mejorar la raza." You understand? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I feel like Black Americans do that more. And they don't get criticized for that. They go for light skinned people. Every time there's a dark skinned man, he he it's like you always see him in the, in the social media with a light skinned woman. They promote that. The media promotes that, and also the Black American community itself. That that is that true. Well. That is true. I, I I agree with you on that. But I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna say this as a black man. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what it is. The media promotes that. The media has ways of tricking your mind on a lot of things. Just because you see things like that on the media, that doesn't necessarily mean that's how it is in real life. So nah, but bro, I, did you know I can you know I can speak on this, bro? Because listen, man, I'm black. I'm, yeah, I'm around my people a lot, bro. Okay, I, I know a lot think, of black niggas doing it. That, don't, there's don't, not a lot of light skinned chicks with black that, dudes, bro. That's what I, that's what I was gonna I was gonna say. Well, I'm, I'm, saying, saying, I'm saying, look, boom. I'm not saying light skin to the point they look almost white. I'm saying like light skin black. With okay. A skin black man. Like, like, like or you. even like, even like a mixed skin, man. Light skin like you, right? Okay. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Okay. 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 So well, okay. I, go ahead. Go ahead. It's like ahead. these light skin these light skin black people aren't really black. You know what I'm saying? Because they're not fully black. They have the light skin comes from white ancestry. 
So yeah, yeah, yeah. Dark skin blacks are trying to like in their race, they're trying to mahor la rasa, but they get. Well, but wait, but wait a minute though. Here's where I gotta cut you in. You know that there are dark skinned black people who are mixed too, right? Yeah, like but it's not. It's, aware it's, of that, right? It's, it's 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 a genetic thing. It's not phenotypically. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Um, as with as as with the phenotype, the dark skinned black people look more wait, wait. akin to the African. Wait, so so Rika, what what is your question for me then? Is that your question for me? Why are dark skinned black people getting with light skinned black people? No, my question is why when when they do it, they don't get criticized like when Latinos, uh, like when people criticize Latinos for doing that. Even but, though half the time we don't do yeah. that, we just stick with our own. Got it. Oh, but brother, uh, that but bro, we're Latin. You know that's not our issue. That's something, you know, Andrew should no, be I'm speaking. Saying, I'm saying, you know like, I mean? why do you think? I'm saying, like, why do you think people If I have it? to, you know if I mean? have to, well, if I'm going to have to guess, if I'm going to have to guess, um, I'm going to go back to the system of white supremacy because white supremacy also affects entertainment. And entertainment, they're always saying that light is right. They're saying white is the w- right way. <laughs> white, right way, uh, tongue tied. White is the right way. That's what they're saying. So that's the reason why when you're infected with white supremacy and you're always seeing white, 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 and you're seeing whiteness with success, you're seeing whiteness with benefits, you're seeing whiteness with um with things all automatically given to you, then it's not a stretch of the imagination to figure out why a lot of dark-skinned people who probably grow up in that system of white supremacy who doesn't like themselves, who wants to bleach their skin and all of that, will go with a lighter person. And that's not a stretch of the imagination. So this is just my guess. Okay. So they got to they gotta fix that mindset just like the way some Latinos got to fix their mindset. Exactly. We got They got to fix that mindset, which I'm trying to help out because I'm an advocate. I'm also, a, you know, a Latin supporter. I'm also, we got to fix that mindset within our own community. For example, your best friend, Antonio Batista, is one of them. As far as what? As far as, as, far as fixing that mindset. Because he, he calls himself strictly European. When he talks Hispanic, he's really meaning Spanish. So that's why I'm saying that he has to fix that mindset. And you support Antonio Batista's message, correct? Yeah, I support many of the things he says, but you know, many- with every person, I'm I'm not gonna support everything that they say. Okay, so I'm not gonna interrupt you when I ask this. Can you tell me everything that you support about Antonio Batista? Well, as I said yesterday, he's he's more of a he speaks about community unity in the in the Dominican community, in the Hispanic community. And that's like one of the main things I support as far as the the racist thing. I don't really support that, but I don't, I don't really hear, he doesn't talk to me about racist things about dark Latinos. You know what I'm what, saying? What people did, people, wait, 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 people wait, wait, say that, but I don't hear it. Hold on. All right. All right. So you, you don't support his racist things, right? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. Okay. I mean, if it's racist. I mean, okay. Okay. Racist to okay. people well, that I don't care for. Gotcha, I don't gotcha, really gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So he made a video called "Do I Do I Hate Black People?" And you're on the comment section. Basically, he talked in code the whole time, and you're on the comment section saying, "Great video, bro." He hearted that. There's another video that he actually came out with saying, "Full support for this mm-hmm. channel," which is giving you props. A racist is giving you props, mind you. It has 17 thumbs down on it. You said exactly. A lot of them think a thing talking ghetto English is acting black. LMAO, they dumb. Every ethnic group has the ghetto side. Thanks for supporting me, bro. He hoarded that comment. So please tell me what do you what 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 about Antonio's message that is racist you don't support? Because for what I'm seeing, you support a lot of racist messages. That's not that's not racist, bro. So because, him so ooh. him telling <laughs> saying. Wait, wait. Oh. Him saying that him yeah. saying that I don't do saying a video saying do I hate black people and then basically saying yes I do throughout that whole video is you not supporting? Okay. Mm. To me, that's not racist because even though that was the title of the video, if you actually listen to the video, it's not you know, it's not the, it doesn't correlate with the title. You know what I mean? Okay, so then, him. 
in other previous videos saying calling black people monkeys, talking about them um wanting to claim uh um platanos because they're monkey like them saying that dark skin Dominicans <laughs> well you laughed at because you're a racist that's funny um, um, <laughs> yeah. no no he's a racist that's all right yeah. um so him, him, him saying dark yeah, skin, him saying dark skin Dominicans should not be mixing with other light skin Dominicans and we should lighten our race to you it's still not racist no, I don't remember him saying that as far as dark skin. Well, you, well, no, nobody, really remember, nobody really remembers when they're getting called out. So I get There's it. A lot of shit he said, bro. Very disrespectful towards black people. So, Very so, disrespectful so, towards so African to Americans. So to so to you, to you, that's not, you know, that's not racist, but yet you don't recall. I totally get it. You know, racists never really recall. They for some reason, racist people. <laughs> For some reason, racist people they get amnesia at the perfect time. That's so funny. So, so tell me, what is you, the problem? You, you good, radical? Right? You did your homework. I was, I, I, I respect oh, yeah. it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I do my shit, bro. I do my shit. When you come in here, you gotta come correct. So when I'm, so I'm telling right. you, so I'm telling you something. Um, what is pro Latino about you then? If you're supporting a racist, are you saying that Latin people should be more Spanish? No, I'm saying that we should, you know, improve ourselves. You know what I mean? How? Just by improving our economy, improving more morals into our people. You know what I mean? So, so what as is far the moral as, as far as yeah. how? The moral conduct. We got to stand cold. You feel what I'm saying? Like, for example, we got, we got, we got niggas like you. <laughs> you, for example. Oh, shit. You, you, for example. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm going to put you, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put you, <laughs> I'm going to put you, <laughs> I'm gonna put you on the spot now, little bro. Hey, hey, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, guys, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, dude, dude. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Right. That's that's like round three, girl. Here we go. Go ahead, go round ahead man. Six. <laughs> All right. Radical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like I don't know. Your mindset is not really. It don't correlate to me as pro Latino. Pro co it correlates to pro black. Me, I don't got no real problem with black people, but you know, I focus on my people. I don't even focus on all Latinos. I just focus on their on people mainly. Because those are the places that I actually live that have actually, I'm saying have ancestry. But it's like you focus on the, this whole black shit. And you focus on this more, you know, pan African type shit. You can't it's different groups. You can't unite it's just based on our skin color. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's like it's like you trying to you know trying to abandon your own community. But do you think that go, maybe go. he's just do you think that maybe he's just embracing African culture? No, I don't. compared to just just the skin color. That's not there's different types of African culture, so he's not embracing no African culture. Mm. Okay, so oh, wow. okay. okay, okay, okay. So and I'm, even like even like other you know black people around the world, like in the Caribbean and Latin America, we had different cultures. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you and yeah, you I, I just want to say this real quick. You you're totally right on that. And I and I'm not gonna take that away from you. But I'm gonna let you know something right now. Like me, I'm a West Indian Jamaican, right? Right. When it comes down to us, our nationalities, we're mixed with a lot of shit, bro. A lot of yeah. things that we have in our culture. I mean, we have Europeans, we have Hispaniards, we have Chinese, believe it or not, we have white. So but one thing we can identify ourselves with is that we label ourselves according to our skin color. Now, also according to culture. So a lot of us, we think of it like this. Black comes first before everything. Just because of the way the system has put us in you get what i'm saying yeah so i'm just gonna be totally honest and totally real i grew up around puerto ricans and dominicans living in new york you know what i'm saying i've been inside the houses of one of my best friends who's puerto rican i've at the pastelis you know the rop and pollo you know what i'm saying i got involved into the spanish culture now listen people like me I don't get recognized in your community for, hey, he's embracing the culture. 
I get looked at as I'm whoring their women. I'm all about light skinned women. I mean, that's what you mostly view us as, right? Well, yeah, basically, just but it depends on you know the reason why you're going down there. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. So have you, so you ever, go, like okay. basically boom, put it like this. If you go on down there to actually go to restaurants, go to go to bars and you know, actually hang out with people, um museums, whatever, and just actually get to know the culture, mm -hmm. get to know the people, men and women, men, you know what I'm saying, and women. Yeah. Instead of just instead of going to the tourist areas and just looking at the woman or going for prostitutes and, and gold diggers. I get you. That's, that's a different, that's a different and type of I'm thing, a, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know what? You're totally right. But I'm going to school you on, you know, on some stuff. I'm a traveler myself. But right. see, as a traveler, I already get criticized for automatically mongering. There's about three to four different types of travelers out there. Okay? There's people who travel for the excitement and the experience of having fun. There's people who also travel because maybe they're caught into the system on which they don't want to be a part of and they want something different. There's people like that out there. There's also people who just travel for the culture and the experience like you were talking about. But right. we got to keep it real. A person like me that comes to your country, I will automatically get criticized by people like you, but you don't even know me. Well, based on the context that, not saying you, or maybe you, maybe not, but other people, other black Americans, because y'all the most flamboyant, because white, white people go there more doing dumb shit. They be more low key. But based on black Americans being more flamboyant, putting that shit on YouTube, that's the perception y'all give us. Wait, like, so why, you, why, why you think black people are, are doing that, though? Why you think they're, they're, they're more flamboyant? What is your theory? My theory is, it's like they're trying to show off a trophy or something. Look at this light skin shorty I got. Like, that's what I get from it. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, so yeah. is it is it fair to, is it fair to assume that you think that uh, uh, black people are viewing themselves as low? That's the reason why they, you know, have to show off. Well, basically, yeah. Some some black American men put a light-skinned woman on a pedestal and they they have this, you know, white standard of beauty closer to whiteness, the, the light-skinned woman, the mixed woman with uh -huh. um, looser curls and stuff. So, gotcha. And, 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 and to you, do, do you think that's something wrong about black men going out there and getting with women who is kind of doing their job? You know what I'm saying? No, I don't care about women doing their job. They're prostitutes. I got a gold digger. That's that's she's a gold digger. You know what I'm saying? She that's not a real job, but she's still getting money out you. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm talking not about gold diggers. I'm talking about prostitutes. You know, that's what we're really mainly talking about since we're talking about sex tourism or whatever the case is. But yeah. are we but really? That's the thing, bro. We have to we have to clean up our community. We can't just you know let this poor um prostitution shit. You know what I'm saying? Because that's. Now, let me ask you something. Why do you think these women out here prostituting themselves? That's because of the economy. We got to fix our economy. We got to okay, fix our okay, corrupt government. Okay, okay. Very, very good. Why is the economy over there fucked up? Because of the corrupt government, because of illegal, illegal immigration, the, the illegals taking the jobs. Okay, the illegal, many things. illegals taking the jobs, you know, corrupt government. How did that government get corrupt, sir? Um, this is the political party over there. It's just fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So, have you ever read a book called Economic Hitman? Have you ever read that book? No, I haven't. Well, I highly recommend it. It it basically breaks down Economic Hitman. Breaks basically breaks down how Western powers, aka white supremacy goes out and influences and breaks down the economy of these third world countries that basically make it impossible for people to even live civil over there. 
It happens in India. It happens in DR. It happens all over the Caribbean. It even happens in Venezuela right now. Venezuela is supposed to be rich with oil. Half of those people are starving. So that that book basically breaks everything down. You you understand what I'm saying? So we can't just be saying, well, we got to fix everything. It's a whole system that is designed for those type of people to do that type of unfortunate work. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, so so let's not judge the black man that is doing it. You know, this woman wants to just, you know, do her thing. Let her do her thing. The thing the thing is when black people get judged as a whole, you know, and saying, Oh, there's a whole invasion happening because it, like fucking Braveheart. No, that's not happening like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's not happening yeah. like that. The only people that you guys can only pick out is a good 12 to 13 black men that's on YouTube doing that shit. Let's Listen. keep it real. Yeah, black and I'm a, black yeah, men don't travel like that. I'm a, I'm, don't. We have a black man right here. And yeah. please let me know. Do you, hey. do you travel? Do you see a lot of black Americans going out to travel? On the real-ish, in Susua, depending on the holidays, you'll see a lot of black folks down there. You know, Super Bowl weekend and stuff like that. You'll see that. But majority of the time, throughout the year, it's usually a lot of English, British, or white folks out there. Okay, so th thank you thank you for letting me know, uh, you know, letting us know, because what Andrew just basically said... What he basically broke down four times out of the year, four is when is a whole influx of black uh, for you guys. What some races like to say, an uh, invasion of black folks. Four, <laughs> four <laughs> times out of the year, four times out of I'm the year. I'm sorry, this shit funny to me, bro. <laughs> four, times, ahead, four times out of the year, that's what he's basically saying. So, by in turn, but by, by, by the, the other rest of the year, the 98 percent of the year. There's a bunch of European white people going out there. So now, really tell me why. Right, but that's the thing. That's the thing. The, the white people, when they fuck, you know, prostitutes or whatever they do, they don't put it on the, on online to humiliate the oh, whole no, country. They, but, but Rican, you as a, a Latin advocate, you as a Latin supporter, you as a as a pro Latino should be talking about that. Yeah. They don't put it. They don't put it up in Front Street. You know what they do? They I, make whole, they make whole islands about it. Look at Epstein. He had a whole island of uh, of of you know of all prostitutes and having people shipped in for our own people, Mister Rican, <laughs> getting I, shipped. And, and and basically getting dogged out. This is something that you should be talking about because black folks are just paying a prostitute and then doing their thing. Epstein and all the other Epsteins are making islands out of this shit. Uh, so what I was talking about with the with the black people with the oh black this American guy. Man. Right, check this out. Check this, this out. Before this, you, this, before, this is before, what I'm talking about. Hold on for a quick. Hold right. on, hold on. I just want to read this real quick. He says black blacks are more flamboyant. Says by Rican. What? Lol. Have you been to Puerto Rico? I mean, yeah. I mean, well, how how do you answer that? Do you think you, you think blacks are more flamboyant than Puerto Ricans? I mean, I guess. Yeah, black Americans are definitely more flamboyant. I don't think he understands the definition of flamboyant because what does blonde bomb plan have to do with flamboyant? Flamboyant means you like to show off. Those are dancing. You know what I'm saying? So what about what about Puerto Ricans? I, I go to Puerto Rico all the time. I see them dancing all the time and showing off. What about the I mean, like, I mean, like, I mean, I mean, listen, boom. That's flamboyant. Showing boy. off, like, flashy, showing, flashy off, cash showing too. off, showing off, like jewelry. You know what I'm saying? They do that in Puerto Those. Rico too, bro. The gangsters out there and the albarios, man, they do the same thing too. They dress just nah, like. No, 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 no. Nah, they don't. They don't show. They don't show off. Yo, uh, Rican, Rican, Rican is putting extras on shit. Listen, uh, uh, let me let me go <laughs> let me go back. Let's go back to this whole thing that I'm calling you anti-black. Um, by by your by by the way, I mean I'm not I'm not radical. Look, boom, I'm not anti-black, but what I am is pro Latino. So don't you know come to my country and doing dumb shit. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I'm, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you that. I'm gonna give you that. Um, now this is this is my question. Yesterday you called me. A, no, I'm sorry. My fault. It wasn't yesterday. I'm lying already. I'm sorry. You said in one of your videos, you called me a black supremacist. Can you please explain what a black supremacist is? <laughs> Basically, boom. It's like you 
how do I put this in the correct way? It's like you 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 over focus on, on you know black people and you're not even black, and then you also got this. I don't know. It just seems like you got this mindset that you think black people are superior, and that you think black people the 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 issues of black people matter more than your own Latino people. You know what I'm saying, or even white people. What what from my content uh, makes you say that? Because like you always like go against white people, and you always like, you know what I'm saying? I come at them. I, it's like I, you don't I, like the position that they're in. I, so I'm always to replace I'm, the position. I'm always coming at white people, and you and you find that to be a. I'm sorry. I'm always coming coming at white people, and you find that to be like bad or something. Yeah, that's some black supremacy shit. Okay, why do <laughs> why? Okay, why do you care if you're not? Why do you care if you're not white? Uh, why do you care if you're not white? But that's the thing. I'm not white, but I'm not black. I'm I'm, I'm I got African oh, okay. ancestry, but oh, I also okay. got European. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, so, but you know, so, so since okay, so since you're an alien, since you're one of these ghosts that you were talking about, why do you care? You're not white. All right, but bro, you're not white either. Oh, okay. Okay, oh, you're right. I'm not white, and, and check this out. And these white and these white supremacists are still affecting me, so that's why I talk about it, bro. But when you say white supremacists, it's like you, you okay. Let me like the guys. Let me let me. I'm not looking at them as anything. I'm calling them out what it is. You got to understand something. Whenever somebody or even me says white supremacy, that's very accusatory. I don't talk about racists. I'm not talking about hillbillies. I'm not talking about. The, uh, the rich white man who's um, Donald Trump out here. What I'm talking about is white supremacy. That eliminates everything and goes straight to the juggler. White supremacy. That's something that we have to stop being so um, afraid to even talk about. You know what I'm saying? Because for some reason, I feel that people who are non-white like you that are scared to talk about white supremacy and even talk about the effects of white supremacy kind of see white people as gods and you're kind of basic basically in other words you're, you're kind of like you know putting that whole you think of them as gods in reality you really do you know what i'm saying that's how i see it because if i'm we, not calling them i'm not calling them supremacy because if we, we want to get... thing it comes from supreme you know what i'm saying well supreme supreme comes with a practice that actually is there to harm you, and that practice is definitely visible. Black supremacists, can you please let me know when a black supremacist out here start to affect white people's life collectively? I'll wait. <laughs> well, I would say like black racism. Like for can, example, um, can, yeah, yeah. Give me an example. Give me an example of black racism. Um, oh, I gotta hear this. What's that shit called? Uh, um, Thirteen tribes, twelve tribes of Israel, Israelites. Okay, the nation the, of Islam. Okay, the the Israelites. Okay, what what what? How uh, how are they racist? How are they affecting white people's lives collectively? They ain't affecting their lives really, but they, what they. Oh, they so they're not white. Also, oh, oh, so they're they, not they, racist. Their right, message. But hold so, a radical. Hold a radical. Their message is a racist message towards white people. They but don't if have to have not, an effect. If it's, well, it's not affecting nobody's lives um, collectively. So how is that racist? They're prejudiced, yes. They have a fucked up message. Yes, I give you that. But the thing is, uh -huh. if that message has a power behind it, that's the difference. Because white people are out here saying black and Latin people should be caged in jails. Look at the statistics. A bunch of black and Latin people are the majority of the ones up in jail. Do you see that there's a difference between the power dynamic between beliefs and actually having a power behind that belief? I mean, it's the same thing. Racism, racism, with, with or without the power, you know what I'm saying? To me. So, so with, oh, to you, with or without the power. I, Mr. Rican, I'm letting you know, please do a lot more research because... This right right here, what, what you just said is completely, no disrespect to you, no dis it's completely idiotic, okay? Because when you're talking about there's no power um, from racism and, you, and a black person could literally stand in the corner right there in, in, in Harlem and say, yo, I hate white people, white people are crackers, they haven't done anything, they look like mayonnaise, and then... Yeah. 
And, and then, and then, and then, and then when they want to go, and then when they want to go practice that racism, it doesn't happen. But when white folks do it, they stay in the corner and call black folks all type of monkeys and all this other stuff. That a white person puts on a judge outfit and then starts judging black people from that prejudice, from that racism. Do you see that there's a huge difference? There's a difference as far as the power goes, but you know, racism, racism is it's still the same mindset. You know what I'm saying? Mm, okay, it's still the same mindset. So what? So why do you think? these black folks or as you say the israelites as you cherry picked why do you think these uh these people have that type of mindset that's a good question i, I don't know I don't oh really know. okay thank you very much for so we basically just proved that there's no such thing as uh black supremacy now let me ask you something um uh, that is that that's the same me, thing as black supremacy let me let me let me oh well, no we just so bro, when you say bro, just bro, thank radical. you <laughs> when you say when you say white supremacy, you, you talking about like Illuminati or some shit? No, I'm talking about white. Let me give you the definition of white supremacy. White supremacy is anybody who's classified or is classifying as white to mystery, dominate, and control people who are classified as non-white. That's been the working definition from all this time. And that's who I talk about. White supremacists. White supremacists are not the ones with the hoods. White supremacists are not the ones with the pitchforks. This is that movie version. White supremacists are the ones putting on suits on, talking about their teachers, and they're going to be funneling people into special ed. White supremacists are the ones that's going to be putting on a cop uniform, looking at people like you or Andrew, and saying, you know what, this person seems like a bad guy, and I'm going to say that he attacked me and take his life. A white supremacist is <laughs> relax, Andrew. A white is a white supremacist is a is a juror that's on the jury stand looking at a black person that got wrongfully convicted and saying that he is guilty. That's what a white supremacist is. That's just putting racist people in power. I want to say that supremacy. Well, I'm not putting anything in power. They're already in power. The system of white supremacy already put them in power. <laughs> I'm saying, uh, but, but why you call it? Why you call it a system, bro? It's not a system. Because it is. A, it is part of a system. Anything part of the it's ism, just, it's just, anything it's with just, the ism look, on the end, is part of a system. Please show me any other place it's, that it's not. It's racist white people sticking together. The and that's part, agenda, that's, not a, that's, that's part of a system. That's part of a system. If those racist that's, white people put, it's sticking together, rich, poor, with multiple jobs that can still affect you, that's part of a system. No, I just call that the the racist white agenda. I wouldn't call it white supremacy. Well, you could nah, call it. Nah, listen, nah. you look. You could you could call it the listen. You could call it the system of honey bunch Cheerios. That doesn't mean a goddamn thing. The fact <laughs> is, the system of honey. I'm sorry, this comment is crazy, bro. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. The system of honey bunch Cheerios is still going to be affect affecting you regardless of whatever name you got. You know, if there's people out here classifying as Honey Bunch Cheerios and they're harming you based on that system of Honey Bunch Cheerios, that's what we're going to talk about, the system of Honey Bunch Cheerios supremacy. Regardless of so what... radical, radical. I got a question up? for you. What's so, up? What's up? What's up? How do you see yourself as far as your white ancestry? Because I'm pretty sure you got some Spanish ancestry. How do you I'm, see that? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? What happened? How do you see yourself as far as your white side of your ancestry the spanish side how do you see that wait i, I don't understand the question how do i see wait how do i see my spanish side or how do i see myself i don't i don't get it yeah how do you see yourself because as far as you know the the white side of your ancestry oh what what yeah the, my, my 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 white side of my ancestry is just a pro i'm a product of rape from my ancestors that were enslaved so you 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 see your white ancestors as rapists yeah because I, that's what happened historically but how do you know that they were racist? Do you actually because, did you actually look it up and do the family history, or you just assume that? Oh, I don't have to do the family history. The fact that there's a class called mestizo, the fact that there's um, a class system in our countries that is basically more aligning with white, you know, and the fact that I'm not a hundred percent black as shit is the reason why I see I see myself. I'm a product of rape, and my ancestors were a product of rape. Mm. I think that's an ignorant, ignorant way to look at it because oh, shout out to you, it. shout out to you. Uh, you. You're right. I I don't know, but based on my history and and based on the things that happened in Dominican Republic and also Ecuador, 
I'm going to think that my assumptions are correct. I could be completely wrong, but for right now, for my assumptions, until I get proven right, I think my assumptions are correct due to the history. Okay. okay. But at the same time, Dominican Republic was not like many other colonies. Like, there wasn't, as comparison with Haiti, Haiti was more, you know, segregated with the white and black populations. There was It was treated more cruelly. And DR was a lot more closer together and it was treated a lot better i would say okay so now this is a, a i like what you just said something you have to i don't know if you know this but for everybody that under uh, just heard um reek and Dalfia just say i'm glad he said this and this is something for all the people that are confused and because i'm about to break it down right now the reason yeah, break it down. the spanish the spanish did something very very tactful when it came to us they didn't do it like the French. They didn't do it like the Brits. They didn't do it like the English. They did something very tactful. They got with their slaves and made their offsprings who were light, made them the overseers for the slaves. So that offspring who was mixed came out thinking that they were Spanish, thinking that they were white because the Spanish gave them the same benefits as of being white. Now, this is the difference. After slavery ended and all this other stuff, those same mulattoes, those same light-skinned people who are walking around here thinking that they're white now are getting a big wake-up call when it comes to the United States. They're getting a big wake-up call when they go to uh, um, Europe and Spain because they're not viewed as white. They're like, wait, what the fuck is this? What's going on? I'm not getting the same benefits as my slave master that gave it to me? That's the whole thing, and that's the whole confusion. A lot of Latin people out here, especially in the United States, because the United States kind of perpetuates that, they classify us as white just to boost up the white numbers because, in reality, the numbers are low. That confuses us, and we're thinking, oh, shit, we're white. We're thinking, you know, you get an Antonio right there. You know what I'm saying? Antonio starts becoming, oh, shit. I'm Spanish. I'm, you know, all this other stuff. When he got a, when he got a black nose, big ass lips, he looks like a dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, oh, so, so that, that's well, those are the type of people you start getting. You understand what I'm saying? So you're saying everybody in DR acts like that, basically? No, no, I'm not saying everybody in DR acts like that. I'm saying the people who are confused, who don't know about history, about what the Spanish did, act mm. like that. That's what I'm saying. Mm. Okay, but what if I told you like most people in DR have a certain mindset? We're not, you know, really anti-black, but we're not really anti-white either. Mm. Well, we yeah, just claim I, it all. You know what I'm saying? I know that. I know That's that. True. Like, I know that. Listen, every everybody. I, listen, outside the United States, it's some other shit. Outside the United States, it's something crazy where they talk about. You know, um, their nationalities, or if they really want to go down race, they talk about being mestizo and all this other stuff. That's outside the United States. We're not talking about inside the United States, which I always talk about. I, 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 I let's get home shit together before we we think about international shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's what mostly uh, uh, mostly my message is. Let's get home shit together before you know, before you know international. So basically. So basically, you see yourself more as American, more than Dominican and Ecuadorian. No, 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 no. Um, I don't see myself as American whatsoever because what is an American? You know, I'm not. Uh, you live in the United States, bro. Yeah, that doesn't make me an American whatsoever because America never fought for me. America doesn't fight for you. They see you as an other, regardless if you live here. So what are what what why are you get you know why are you calling yourself a, an American you know what I'm saying like come on I identify I, mean, I identify from the country that my parents are from Dominican Republic regardless if some people think I'm Haitian but whatever <laughs> um Dominican Republic <laughs> Dominican Republic and Ecuador that's the those are the countries that I identify with because that's where my parents are from and that's the culture I grew up in you feel what I'm saying so that's why I don't I don't identify as an American regardless if I'm right here. Bet you hundred dollars if I fucking leave and I get caught with some shit, I'll be I'll be yelling American all the way. You know what I'm saying? But the, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna lie about that. I'm not gonna lie about that. I'll be like, I'm American, gotta go. You know. But um, but the fact is that 
you know, we we live here in the system of white supremacy, and America never fought for me. America doesn't sh do shit for me. Little handouts, they think that's reparations for us. You know what I'm saying? So let's keep it real. That's the reason why I'm not, I don't classify as American. Do you classify yourself as American? I mean, I live in America, so okay. I would say I'm a, I'm a, I'm a U.S. citizen. Yeah. I'm saying. Gotcha. I can, now, I, now I, let me. I go by my ancestry more. Yeah. Now let me ask you something. Um, somebody, somebody DM me this. I'm just gonna ask you this. Oh boy. Um, they said, yeah, it's funny. They didn't want to put it in the. Ch All right. They said, ask, uh, ask him if Japanese and Jews deserve reparations. So I'm gonna ask you that, Rican. Do you think Japanese and Jews uh, deserve <laughs> reparations? <laughs> I'm not going, you know, I'm, I'm not part of this community, so I don't really care. But I would oh, say, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, he's a legend. So, yo, this hey, motherfucker's a legend. Legend. Yo, <laughs> yeah. legend of Zelda over here, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, um, I would say Jews don't really need it because they they own the world half of them, most of them. They own most of the wealth in the world. As far as Japanese, they what what they need it for. Like they, mm. what, what the mm. fuck happened to know? What Jews? You you mean Jews? With, with, with the with the Japanese? Oh, with the Japanese, uh, the the in, um, internment camps that happened during Vietnam. So that'll be the Vietnamese. Thing. Well, no, 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 no. What, no, I'm talking about what happened. I'm sorry, not Vietnam. What am I talking about? D during Pearl Harbor. That whole thing. Adorable. Hey, shout out to Day, man. Andrew two six one zero one is boring. I know, man. That's why y'all watching it right now on Pittsburgh. <laughs> Coin, baby. Um, Shout out to you, man. Andrew two six one zero one is boring. Go ahead, guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shout out to you. Yo, this motherfucker's a legend. Um, <laughs> okay, so no, the, the reason that I think it was a uh, World War II during the internment camps, um, the Japanese was going against the United States because of the whole Pearl Harbor thing. Um, for what I remember, my history correct. That's that's the reason why they got uh, reparations after they they got out of those camps. Okay. Yeah, that's what that's what it was. That's what it was. I, yeah, World War Two. Yeah, yeah. There you go. The people are, yeah, people are correcting me. World War Two. World War Two. But um, that that's but, that's that's what it was. Uh huh. But but America did a lot of fucked up shit to many different type of communities. So yeah, yeah. Actually, check this okay. out. Check this out. Hold on. I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that. And this is something that you should be talking about because I talk about this all the time. Um, you do. Are you aware of the Tuskegee experiment? Yeah, I heard about it. Okay, what what did you hear about? It's like a, um, some racist shit they did to black people in Alabama. Oh, I'm a, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell you something. Um, the Tuskegee experiment, they gave black people syphilis, um, di directly. They they knew that they were giving people syphilis and they lied about it. Now, did you know that they also did the same thing in the same time to Latin people? No, I didn't. It, it was. I heard, I heard they did. I heard they did the same similar thing to um Puerto Ricans in PR as far as you know. Well, I, well, I'm, oh, I'm about to. I'm about, I'm about, yeah, I'm about to. I'm about to do that. Um, they did the same thing. The Tuskegee experiments also happened at the same time in Guatemala. Funny thing is, in Guatemala, they actually did that shit first, and then came to the black folks and started doing that. Once the United States figured out. Yo, you know, some activists came in and all that other stuff. They stopped that, but continued it in Guatemala. They saw black and Latin people as guinea pigs. Now, let me keep on going. In Puerto Rico, they actually started testing your women, Puerto Rican women, and putting all bunch of metal stuff up in there to, to figure out, you know, the new ways to for... Um, you know the the, the for birth you know, control, you know, for birth control, and all that other stuff. A lot of yeah. a lot of Puerto Rican women died because of that. A lot of Puerto Rican women, you know, became ill, disinformed, and all of that other stuff. But for some reason, you don't talk about that. All I hear about is you know you did two videos about black men traveling, and you talk about everything. Yo, else else how you know I was how you know I was gonna make a video about that? I was like I just started like two well, three weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yo, he's a legend, bro. He's a legend. Yeah, he's just like, yo, he cool, man. Yo, he cool, man. He, he cool, cool, man. He cool. Um, oh, no, no, you're, yeah, you're, you're cool, right. Bro. You're right. I, I don't know. Nah. You're right. I don't know. And uh, by going based on 
your your history on your YouTube channel, I am am seeing that you wasn't gonna touch on that because mostly you, what you. No, really I, I definitely had that in mind because. Oh, okay. I wanna I wanna, I wanna touch on you know different things. Okay. okay. Latino, but, but, but I wanted but, to, I wanted to start on you know modern ooh. things. You know what I'm saying. Okay. 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 History. Okay. So my 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 thing is if you're gonna be talking about you know. Um, pro Puerto Rican things, pro Latin things. Are you also going to be including some of Antonio Batista's message into it? As far as what? As far as, as you know, like you know, like in the people. Yeah. No, I don't want to lighten the people, but I don't want you know, talking it. I want to you know, but you, wanna, do, but you do support I people. As far as, as far as certain things that he says, not as everything. Oh, uh, okay. But what All I do right. support. What I do support is, but what I want to do, not lighten it, not dark, and keep it the same way. I don't want to make it, keep it. I want to make. I don't want to make us unrecognizable. You know what I'm saying? Keep it. Okay. Wait, wait, keep, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. So you don't want to make it unrecognizable, but yet you have a history of trying to get with black women. So what's your excuse? Mm. But that's that's uh, just you know what I'm that's just sex. You already know. Oh, wait. Oh, that's all that's that. Wait, 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 wait. Hait, hold up. Hold up. That's just sex. So you see black women as just sex uh, sex objects? I mean, uh, I don't. Uh, uh, wait. So. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. So which one is it? Which one is it? Which one is it, Rican? <laughs> shout out to the black women out there, though, by the way. Hey, well, shout out to La Princess. This is for her. So hey, what, La Princess. What is it, Rican? What is it, Rican? What is it, Rican? Why you, why you had to put on the spot? She, she oh, embarrassed her. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What, what, is it, it, what is it, Rican? I mean, you know, it depends. Like somebody. No, 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 no. no. Backpedal now, come on, brother. Don't <laughs> backpedal now. Don't. <laughs> I got you. I got you on the ropes now. What is it, Rican? Which one is it? I mean, like I said, it depends. Like, sometimes, oh, sometimes, 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 sometimes it's real yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, all right, you, all right. Well, this is a perfect example. Okay, somebody, somebody perfect example of somebody anti-black getting caught on their own shit. But um, listen, Rican, I hope this conversation really, you know, enlightened you on some of my message, enlightened the people on what you really think about, enlightened the people on you know what it is. Um. I hope I really did prove that you're anti-black and you somewhat of a closeted racist, in which I do believe that you are, regardless of what no, you say. Um, and I, this was basically a promotional stunt for him. You know what I'm saying? Because he wants his YouTube channel to grow. And shout out to him. You know, he, yeah, you know for a fact. He's, he's a fucking legend out here. You know, shout out to him. This was a promotional stunt. And I just want to let all the trolls know. Just because, first of all, Rican is lucky for, for him even getting my time. I wasn't even going to mention his name, <laughs> but, but. Because I was coming I'm, at you, bro. I'm, radical, I'm, radical. I was coming at you. Right. You was scared. Yeah, you you were scared, bro. Me? Was I was scared I was, for I a little minute. That shit was funny. That shit was funny, bro. That shit was funny. That shit was funny, bro. That shit was funny, bro. That shit was funny, bro. I um, mean, I just want all the trolls. I want all the trolls to know just because you're going to make videos about me, you're not going to get the same effect. All right. So I just want to let that out the way. And I want to say something else. Antonio Batista is the only one I'm going to scrap with. The only one. I've said this plenty of times. So that whole little give me the Addy shit wasn't going to work with me. I just even I just did this because I saw you as a very, you know, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna disrespect you, but I saw I saw you as the weak target. To be completely honest, this is what very light. This is just practice to me. You I just want to say I just want to say. But hey, you didn't win this, bro. Hold on, I, 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 I just I just want to say. I just want to say. God damn it! I just want to say. Shout out to you, trolls, man. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Go ahead, guys. Yeah, yeah. But, but, I'm saying, bro, radical. Yeah, yeah. You didn't win this. Oh, you know, I did. You know, I you know, did. You're not. My talking points are way better than yours, my nigga. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did. You, you made started. yourself look foolish. You talking you about white supremacy? Like, you, oh, you stuttering. Nah, you nah, stuttering. Nah, nah. Yeah, you stuttering. Nah, it don't, it don't matter about none of that. <laughs> <of those. laughs> Brown boy. It don't yeah. matter about none of that. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, believe what you want to believe. You know, the, the people are going to uh, decide. You know what I'm saying? The people are going to decide. But you believe what you want to believe. <laughs> no, nah, the people are not going to decide nothing. Yeah. This is this dangerous channel. Hey, you're right. Hey, you're right. Hey, Ricky, right. hey, Ricky, you think you knocked him out? 
Yeah, I won fair and square, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, 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 was some, I was on some I was on some Mayweather shit, you heard? Oh, so you was on bro. defense, bro. You was on yep. that defense? And he couldn't even touch yep. you. That's it. Yeah, basically. Because you know he was on the offense, he was throwing me mad questions. I'm like, oh, Talk that shit, shit, bro. Talk that shit. shit. You know Talk that shit like a real loser. Was, Talk that shit. <laughs> I was making radical look stupid. Yeah, you embarrassed the fuck out of me, bro. You and fuck, you embarrassed the fuck out of me, bro. <laughs> Yo, this motherfucker's a I'm legend. Sorry. Yo, he's a no, legend. I'm sorry. He's a I'm legend. Sorry, radical. I had to do it to you. I had to do it to you. Yeah, bro. yeah. You really. I yeah, had to you, do it to you. Yeah, you really did, bro. Yeah, get you with that butterfly stick like a bee. You really did, bro. Uh huh. You really did, <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo, the, do it. the delusion of grandeur is fucking real. That's crazy. Re- look, look at that reeking loss. Look at that shit. <laughs> 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 reeking loss. Look at that shit. Look at that, shit. Look at that comment. Reckless, man. No, nah, that's base, man. He be sucking your dick. No. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. There you go. And you was, there you I, go. Think, I think he caught you with that with the 12 in it, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But anyway, Whoa. listen. Um, shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out yeah. to 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 Rican for you know actually coming up and all that, you know, doing his thing and all that. Uh yo, um, you did not make Rad look stupid at all, not even close. <laughs> ah! there, bro. Right. Right. Know. <laughs> these are these are these are people with common sense, bro. They're not smoking weed, you know what I'm saying? I know, I know, because you 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 are smacked right now, and you think you did great. Bro, I'm telling you right did, now, I'm, you did it. I did yeah. perfect, my nigga. <laughs> hey, 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 man. Ain't no I, I did magnificent, me, man. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. 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 We, we spoke. Yeah. Hey, hey, that's my no, man no, right there. No, no, like, you right, hey, you right. Hey, 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 man. Hey, Rika, right. man. You got to man. Hey, hey, that's we smoking, right. bro. We, we that's it. Smart, bro. It's a difference between smoking weed, getting weed in Philly from a dude's nuts, than getting it from a dispensary. That's a difference. I don't do that. That's a difference. But listen, everybody. Everybody that's saying that I lost is niggas that follow Andrew and you. I think it's the same. I think it's the same. Yo, he's a fuck. Yo, he cool, man. He's a legend. He's cool, man. He's cool. Yo, yo. Um. All right. I'm. I'm done with this. Um. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Um. You know, everybody that agrees, the Rican, go subscribe to his shit. Everybody that agrees. You please, yes, he's begging for this shit. This was a, you know, this is a thing. It's not gonna happen again. Hey, hey, hey! You know what? I just want to say I am the impartial referee in this decision. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Follow me. Go ahead. I hope everybody. I hope everybody learned a little bit about you know what you know about history, how to basically break down these racists who come out with these talking points. I hope everybody. Uh, first of all, this is a learning lesson, you know, for everybody. And I hope everybody, like, you know, learn from from but what you didn't, I, broke, you didn't break down anything. Bro. Oh, I, I did, I did. You, you just, know what? No, you did not. You, you know what? You just, started you just, you just, and shit. You I caught you with that black woman. Bro. I caught you with that <laughs> black woman. And shit, you you <laughs> were stuttering, sir. But it's all you put. You put Shorty hey, on the spot. Hey, that man, he had you stunned, Regan. It's cool, bro. It's cool, bro. with all right. His knees were shaking. Nah, but but it's all good. Listen. I'm out of here. I hope yeah, everybody. Man. I hope everybody. <laughs> um, you know, found this entertaining. And all yeah, that. Man. It's all. Hey, at the end of the day, man, yeah, it's all. It's all fun and games. Yeah, yeah, at the end yeah, of the day, yeah, yeah. we ain't coming at each other in a real disrespectful manner yeah. at least on my part. So I'm just here, just to entertain. And yeah, I wanna, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to yeah. thank you guys both for being on the show. Real talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, thank you, Andrew, for having me. Rican, thank you for coming on. Even though we started late, but shit yeah. happens. You know what I'm saying. Shit happens. Yeah, um, hard. um, shout out to you, you know, Rican's shit, you know what I'm saying? Is down down below. Andrew's shit is also, you know That's what right. I'm saying? That's right. Hit that, hit that shit up. Everybody that, that wanted that everybody that wanted to read the comment, man. Your comment could have been read. Go to Andrew's shit. I kept on putting that in the chat, yeah, bro. Yeah, you know. my shit. Um, I'm a, I'm gonna catch y'all later. All right, all right, guys. Y'all be all right. easy. All right, all right. All right. peace. Yeah. Uh.